G'day, this is what we now have. We have our male 5 pin MIDI cable, which is totally unmodified, and we have a dim female connector 5 pin, which now has a RCA for video and an RCA for audio that can plug into our wonderful CRT Trinitron TV monitor. Okay, so now we can just connect the male end into our female end. Okay, there we go, and that's our adapter. So it's male 5 pin 2 uh, RCA for audio and video. Okay, let's just connect that to the TA 994A. Okay. okay, that's now connected. Now let's connect it to our Sony monitor into the composite video in. Okay. Audio. Okay. Okay, monitor on. Okay, here's the moment of truth. We're now going to power up our TI-994A, which is currently out of its case. And let's just power it up. Audio's good. A little bit of hum. I might investigate later. Oh no, that's okay. So we shall just select. Okay. And here we go. We now have a video cable with audio for our TA-994A, which we made using just a MIDI cable and a female DIN connector that's just running to an RCA for composite and audio. And this is quite an easy thing to do if you have the NTSC uh, model. If I was going to do this for a uh, Australian version that uses uh, PAL, then I'd look at doing something with RGB. And my uh, Sony monitor actually has been modified, so it actually has RGB, and the composite is used for the sync. So that would be possible as well, but this is quite an easy way of connecting your NTSC TA9948 to a monitor using a MIDI cable with a female 5 pin DIN connector to two RCAs. Probably not the best way of doing it, but I didn't want to actually cut the uh, MIDI cable and I don't have any spare male uh, 5 pin DIN connectors around, so it was just a quick, easy way of um, getting something up and running. Okay, I hope this was uh, of some use, and um, thanks for watching. Okay, catch you next time. Bye.